Hi, my name is Ayotunde Yoloye, and I'm the creative director here at Free Gift International. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Free Gift TV, so that you can continue to enjoy inspiring and uplifting Christian movies. God bless you. You're here again? Yes. Oh, please. What's now? This is not the place for this. Why not? What kind of man are you? The right kind. What's that supposed to mean? What do you think? I don't know what to think. But from the way you're behaving, I am sure you can't be a Christian. Does that matter? It does matter to me. Why? Because I am one. Born again? And spirit filled. Too. That's okay by me. Why won't it be okay by you? Please leave me alone. We should not mourn like them who have no hope. We have a hope. Our hope is in Christ Jesus. If Christ had not risen from the dead, we are of all men most miserable. If only in this life we have hope, we are of all men to be pitied. For it is appointed unto man to die once, and after that, judgment. This should be our concern. Where would you spend eternity? So, how are you this morning, blessing? I'm supposed to ask you that question, ma. Yes, but I beat you to it, didn't I? Yes, you did, ma. So? I'm fine, and how are you today, ma? I am well. Totally healed in Jesus' name. I'm afraid that is not what the doctor's report says, ma. Yes. But that's what God's report says. And you believe it? I believe the report of the Lord. Don't you? The Bible? No, ma. Why oh, not? I'd rather not say, ma. Come on, bless me. You can't talk to me. I can't take it. Okay. It's because his report is um, inconsistent, full of errors, and some outright lies. Mm -hmm. That's a bit too harsh. But it's true, ma. The evidence is everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. He says, by stripe of Jesus, you are healed. But look at all these drugs you need to take. I know, I see the physical pain you go through. Is that healing? Sometimes it takes time. Too many patients, his report said, where he'd have died in my hands. Yes. That's right. We will pay cash on delivery. Peter, why are you asking me that question? But you know my policy. 
No, no, no. No settlement, no oh, kickback. Then let him take his business away. Just make sure that you give me a feedback before the end of the day. Eternity is too long a time to spend in the wrong place. Set your heart on the things in heaven above and not on the things in the earth below. What is your priority? Where do you invest your time? Where do you invest your money? <sighs> invest in God's kingdom. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way to heaven. D. <laughs> I have a money spinning contract on the ground. I see. I have a contract to supply industrial chemicals to Onuwara Chemicals Limited. That's good. How much? 450 million naira. How much does it cost to finance it? 300 million naira. Oh, that comes to a profit of 150 million. Not bad, Abi. That's good. I can raise 50% to finance the contract. I want you also to raise the other 50%. We'll share the profits equally as usual. Hmm. I don't have the resources now. Dili, you cannot raise 150 million naira. How come? I have just invested in the purchase of two warehouses at the port. Warehouses? Yes. With the present state of our economy. No, economic activities will soon pick up. And then there are the need for warehousing facilities. Says who? The property speculation is dangerous business. God knows the future. I only bought the warehouses because I believe God wanted me to do so. We are all Christians, but then this one is business. We need to know the difference and know where to draw the line. We cannot separate business or any other aspect of our life from God. Christianity is not a religion. It is a way of life, Otumba. God has given me eyes to know bad business when I see one. This is bad business. I am convinced that it was God that gave me that idea and asked me to buy the property. Blessed is the man that believes, for there shall be a performance of that which was promised. This believing God method that all these new generation churches are preaching, they are very dangerous in business. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. It is a fundamental teaching on God's word. Are you saying that you are not going to join hands with me to finance this business? Otuma, it's good business. But then, I just don't have the resources now. So, the spirit is willing, but the pocket is weak. You can put it that way, Otuma. Sometimes the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. The devil is at work in our flesh. Warring against the spirit. So be sober. For our adversary, the devil, roams around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he will devour. He who breaks the head, the serpent will bite. This is all the more reason why you need Jesus. It was for this reason that the Son of Man was made manifest, that he may destroy the works of the devil. There is a battle going on right now for your soul. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Excuse me. What is it? Leave me alone now. I can't help it. Control yourself. This is not the place for this. Eh? Yes. You are also not the right type. Not the right type? Why? Because it's obvious you are not born again and two cannot work together except they are great. Who says who? The Bible. It's not everything in the Bible that you take to heart. Eh? Yes. You see, you need to study and examine which parts of the scripture that you can read in these modern days? Is 
that how you read your Bible? Oh yes, and I find it liberating. I see. Me, I am reading God's word in my heart, and I will not sin against Him. Excuse me. Okay, um, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, maybe this is not the right place. Um, maybe we could talk some other time. What is that? It's just a small token of my affection. I don't want anything from you. I don't need anything from you, and I don't want to have anything to do with you. Oh, please, I insist. I promise I won't bother you anymore, if you do. Suit yourself. Uh, one more thing. What? Um, can I have a kiss? I beg your pardon. Just a small peck on the cheek. What do you take me for? Didn't I tell you that I was a Christian? Uh, but didn't the Bible say that we should greet one another with a holy kiss? Oh. All I am asking for is a holy kiss. And after that, I can I will leave you alone. Close your eyes now. Yeah. Nonsense. Tough. What was all that with the girl about? Oh my God. She was just playing hard to get. Were you trying to pick her up? Didn't you see that the girl was fine? She's too much. Charles, are you serious? How could you think about it? Here of all places? I mean, this is not the right place oh, to... Jesus, what is wrong with you people? What is wrong with this place? And why is this place not the right place? We are here on a condolence visit. So? The girl is the niece of the deceased man. So? So this is not the right place to be picking up a woman. I, I, I can't believe that you are even thinking about it after the sermon by Pastor Jeremiah. So uh, what was new in the sermon that uh, Pastor Jeremiah put? Is it not the same old Bible that uh, he, he quoted from? Yes, the same old Bible with a brand new anointing. The words he spoke was like a two-edged sword that cuts me to the bone. Uh, so it was for gullible people like you that the sermon was meant for, eh? <laughs> what do you mean? Look, I have told you that the Bible is what pastors use to make money. Really? Yes. And the Bible is just a tool. But in the hand of a skilled worker, it can be put to good effect. Uh, they call it uh, correctly dividing the words of truth. But it's a lie. What do you mean it's a lie? Yes, it's a lie. Because if they were the words of truth, it would not be inconsistent, or full of many errors, and contain outright lies. Are you now suggesting that the Bible is inconsistent, has errors, and contains lies? Look, I am not just contesting it. I'm saying it. Usually, it's because he's not doing anything now. No. It's because his ways are not our ways. And his thoughts, not our thoughts. At such times, all we need to do is to hold on to the integrity of his word, which assures us that all things will work together for our good for those who love god i don't see why anyone should believe in the bible i can give you five reasons tell me because it is god's inspired revelation of the origin and destiny of all things it is the power of god unto eternal salvation and the source of present help for body, soul, and spirit. It is the records of God's dealing with man, past, present, and future. 
it is the only book that reveals the mind of God, the state of man, the way of salvation, the doom of sinners, and the happiness of believers. <coughs> We need to talk more about God and His Word. Later, we'll talk. More. Charles, everything in the Bible is true. I hear you. You are just a classic case of the parable of the sower, where the seed has falling by the wayside, being trampled down and the birds of the air have devoured it. Really? Yeah. The devil has taken the word out of your heart lest you should believe it and be saved. You think so? I know so. Okay. Can I prove to you that the Bible is a pack of lies? Okay. Prove it. Are you a Christian? Yes, I am. And you believe that everything in the Bible is true? Yes. Now, open your Bible and read Mark chapter 16 verse 17. And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall... Stop there. What does that mean? Um, it, it means any Christian can cast out a devil from a possessed person. And you are a true Christian? Yes, I am. Good. Um, driver, um, take that next uh, turning. Waiting up, Charles. What's the matter? Just hold on. Show that the man has demons. He may just be sick and not have any demons. Ah, he may just be sick, yeah? Yes. Read the last part of verse 18. Uh, they shall lay their hands on the sick and they shall recover. Lay your hands on him and he will recover. But I, 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 I was not... The Bible contains outright lies. No, it doesn't. Prove it. Hey, come here. Do you want to be healed? Do you want to be set free from demons and crutches of spirits? In the name of Jesus, whom Pastor Jeremiah preaches, I command you evil spirits to come out now. Come out. Jesus we know. Pastor Jeremiah we know. Who are you? I am... Tony, Tony Adams. your wife? Actually, Atuba, we've just returned her back to the hospital. He did? I thought she was getting better when she was discharged about three months ago. She had a relapse <sighs> and then we had to return her back last week. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you, Atuba. You know, <laughs> with leukemia, you never can tell. 
Mm. Periods of remission and relapse are very common. Yeah. God will heal. Amen. Thank you, Otumba. Mm. You did not attend the Business Men Fellowship Dinner, which I invited you to, despite the long notice. I am sorry. I was very busy. Busy doing what? Picking money. The time is coming when I will settle down and serve God. When? When I've made all my money, I will settle down and face God. Otumba, mm -hmm. now is the acceptable time. Today is the day of salvation. Those who wait till the 11 hour mm. to serve God mm. usually die at 10.30. I will still settle down and serve God, but there are one or two things I need to sort out first. I will serve God. Then you better sort them out fast. Eternity is too long a time to spend in the wrong place. You have come again daily, you are always preaching. Here is another one. Make sure you don't miss this one. Okay, yeah, I will try. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'll be expecting you. Daddy, Tony says that he will join us shortly. Okay, we need to get going, but then we can wait till he comes. Daddy, I want to be going with you now. So how do we get home? It's only one of people complaining about this one hour. I see. What friend is this? You don't know him. Him? Who is he? Colour Adams. What happened to you, honey? Um, I'll, I'll explain to you. It's a long story. I'll explain to you later. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. This is for you. Oh, hope no problem, sir. Ah, no problem at all. <laughs> all right, sir. Afei, how are you? Ah, madam, good evening. Good evening, sir. Ah. What did the landlord want? Oh. It's a letter from his lawyer. Quick notice. No. He's increasing the rent. Huh. By how much? So, Faye, who is this caller? He's just a friend from church. Just a friend? And he's speaking you up. Is he the one? I think so. <laughs> Has he proposed? Yesterday. <laughs> Did you accept? I told him that I want to pray about it. So, what is God saying? Sis, um, I'm not sure what God is saying. You are not sure? But you're always so sure when God speaks to you. Mm. Yes? Like you were so sure God asked you to start a primary school for the less privileged. Since this one is different. Like how? I've never felt this way before. I really like Kola. I think I'm in love. It's just that I'm not sure what God is saying. Pray about it. God is faithful. <sighs> After all these years of waiting, without any brother showing any interest in me, I didn't know that God was preparing someone as wonderful as Kola for me. But I thought you said you weren't sure what God is saying. You know how it is now, sis. Ah, shame had almost killed me before I met Kola. Why? Almost everywhere I went, I'd become a prayer point for marriage. Ah, even got to a state that I had stopped attending weddings and marriage seminars. But now see what God is doing. I know what you mean. Pray. If it is God, he will confirm it. Ah, I will pray. I will pray. Franka, please don't go. I'd like to see you. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.
Tomorrow's rehearsal is very important. Please make sure you are here on time. Don't worry. Nothing will stop me from being here at 6 o'clock. That's a great. Are you going for the regional training program in Port Harcourt? Where yeah, will I get the money for? How much is it? 350000 God will do it. I know, but I just can't see how. Please, can I uh, lend your charger? What is that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Didn't it just come out of your bag? One useless man who was just troubling me this afternoon gave it to me. For what? What else? He wanted me to go out with him. Did you? Me? I gave the man a hot slap. But why? Why what? You want me to go out with him? No, but that's no reason to slap him. Besides, how do you know he's not a nice man? Sometimes good things come in the most unlikely packages. This one was up to no good. Hmm, if you say so. But I know that God blesses in different ways. The most important thing is that we do not miss the time of our visitation. I hear you. Won't you check what he gave you? What else will be there? I am sure he put some useless money here. Maybe 5,000 naira. One hundred thousand naira. And there is also a check for two hundred and fifty thousand naira. Really? And you said he was a useless man. See how you'll have missed the time of your visitation. Are you saying this could be God? Were we not just wondering where God will bring the three hundred and fifty thousand naira from? There is no name on the check. Maybe it's not meant for me. He gave you his card. Why not call him and ask? Call him? The Amen. least you can do is call him, if only to apologize for slapping him. Yes, I think you should call him. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Good morning today. How are you today? Very well, thank you. I'm yeah, very well, thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm see. sorry, Ma. Tika will not be allowed to go into school today. Why not? You're still owing two hundred thousand naira on this stem school fees. But I thought I explained my challenges to your proprietress. Yes, Ma. Mm -hmm. uh, but the grace period we extended to students with outstanding fees expired last Friday. Huh. So what do you want me to do now? I don't have the money here with me. We do have a POS machine if you have your ATM card here. We also do have internet access in the event that uh, you'd like to make an online transfer. I can't make the payments now. Sorry. You'll have to take the fare back home. Mommy, you want to go to school? Oh, Hello? The center home? Okay, okay. I'll see what I can arrange. All right. Ah, Lord. Please send yourself, Lord. Ah, we need help. We need help. Hello? Yes? Okay. I can meet you for lunch at 12. All right.
uh, Mr. Duru. Yeah. I know that your company has been engaged by Infinity Limited to do an evaluation of one of my properties at Amuwa Dauphin. How did you know that? <laughs> I am Charles Suleiman Esquire. It is my business to know these things. I see. Uh, I know that Infinity Limited um, came to you because you are a man of integrity and you will give them an honest valuation. That whatever amount you tell them that my properties are worth, they will pay. So? Uh, my own valuers have confirmed um, that the properties are worth 60 million naira. Charles. I want you to confirm uh, the same amount to Infinity Limited. Charles, those properties are not worth up to 30 million naira. Uh, how can you say that? Did you not see the mighty structures in that premises? Those structures were built on the martial ground. The piling done at the foundation stage was inappropriate. Besides, those buildings have serious structural defects, which will require millions of naira to correct. Uh, you see, it is a good thing that we are having this meeting. Otherwise, you would have been left with a totally misrepresented picture of the value of the properties. Really? Yes. The only reason why we are having this difference in valuation is because we are looking at these properties from a different perspective. What do you mean? Look, I am looking at these properties from a strictly business perspective, while you are looking at them from a strictly professional perspective. I see. The fact that um, these properties have some defects should not be a reason to cloud our vision and prevent us from taking a business decision. You see, we need to align our views and reach a compromise. So, how do you propose we do this? If you confirm a valuation of uh, 60 million naira and uh, we get Infinity Limited to pay the amount, I will pay you 5 million naira. Said it. There is nothing in this Bible that these Christians are carrying about. Everyone has their price. <laughs> Hello? Hello, sir. Who is this? My name is Franca, sir. Franca. Franca, from where? From so Larry, I was the one you gave your card to at Mrs. Sotaru's house yesterday, sir. Oh, you were the one that slapped me yesterday. I am sorry, sir. My cheek is still hurting from the slap. I sincerely apologize, sir. I don't know what came over me. Uh, it's okay. Uh, so why are you calling me? Sir, I saw a check in the envelope with no name on it. Yes? I wanted to confirm whether you left it in the envelope by mistake, sir. Uh, no, no mistake. The 250,000 Naira is for you. For me, sir? Uh, yes. I just uh, put your name and deposit it at the bank. Uh, you have a bank account, don't you? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Don't mention. Uh, in fact, text me your number. This is my phone, sir. Did my number not show on your phone? I am not asking for your telephone number. Which number do you want, sir? Your bank account number. My bank account number? Uh, so that from time to time I can send you something small like uh, what I gave you yesterday. Really? I'll text it to you right away, sir. So when can we see? When do you want us to see, sir? Um, how about uh, later this evening? Um, say, 6 o'clock? Huh, I have choir practice at six. Uh, can I see you at six o'clock, Franca? Six o'clock is fine, sir. Uh, all right, I will call you later in the afternoon to discuss how I will pick you up. All right, sir. 
I will expect your call, sir. <laughs> There is nothing in this uh, Bible that these Christians are carrying. Every one of them has their price. You are right. You are right. Dear. Hmm? What are we going to do? We don't have any money, and the bills are piling up so high. Mm. Don't worry, love. The Lord is more than able to provide. I know the Lord can provide, but why is it taking so long? Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Though the fulfillment of the Lord's promises appear to tarry, they will not delay. I actually had a small breakthrough today. Eh? Yeah. Someone paid me some money this afternoon. Really? Yes. How much? Oh. Here. What will this one do? In all things, give thanks, dear. I'm sorry, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't mean to be ungrateful. It's just I had prayed so much and I was expecting something big. Mm, like what? Like five million naira or something. You know, someone actually offered me that amount today. Really? Yes. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. If you confirm a valuation of uh, 60 million naira and uh, we get Infinity Limited to pay the amount, I will pay you 5 million naira. Doesn't it matter to you that it is ethically and morally wrong to give such an untrue and incorrect valuation to Infinity Limited? Ethics, morals. Look, make the money. After you admit the money, then you can uh, preach uh, morals and talk about uh, ethics. We are to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things will be added to us. Exactly. Can't you see that this is also a blessing from God? Receive it with faith as a fulfillment of God's promise to his children. This is my card. Think about it and call me later. I knew you'd come through for us. Ha! Ah, hallelujah. This is not God. Eh? How do you know that? Because he will not ask us to behave contrary to his word. But this could be the breakthrough that we've been believing God for. No but dear. There's no way this could be God. So what do we do now? Hold on to the promises of the Lord, believing that He will fulfill His promises to us in the fullness of time, if we abide in Him. But this train is becoming unbearable for us. Why must we go through all this? Why? So that we can comfort others who go through this type of situation, haven't been comforted by God in our own time of trouble. I guess so. Don't worry. His grace is sufficient for us. Hmm. Truly, God has proved himself faithful in time past. He will come through for us again this time. Even the cash pledges we made will be able to redeem in Jesus' name. Do you know that I actually forgot about those cash pledges? Really? Huh. Well, whenever the money comes, Mm. After we have finished paying all our expenses, if there's any money left, then we pay the pledges. No, dear. Ha. We must put God first in all circumstances. What do you mean? We will pay the pledges first, then meet our expenses. Ha. Yes. 
it is better not to vow at all than to vow and not fulfill it. Um, besides, we need to start praying for the salvation of Charles Suleiman Esquire. Charles Suleiman? Yes. Very <laughs> nice. Mm. <laughs> What's that? Oh, look. Yeah. Oh. You like it? <laughs> How sweet. Yeah. I can't wait to introduce you to my parents. Oh, thank you. They will love you. I'm sure they will. Yeah. It's nice, right? Yes. Good. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Um, so, what do you think? I like her. She is a good church girl. So good for you, if you ask me. What's that supposed to mean? The rascally life that you lived. Do you think you deserve that kind of girl? That was in the past, Mom. I'm now born again. Old things have passed away. Old things have become new. Amen. We are still watching to see whether this new fan faith is genuine. My sister Kemi, she's married. Her husband name is Tony, and they live here in Lagos. Do they have any children? Not yet. My brother Boye is 17 and is in a boarding house. So you guys met in church? Yes, we did. Isn't God just awesome? Yes, he is. And it looks like he's also finally granted me my wish. How? He's giving me an elder sister. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> so, when can we arrange for you to meet our parents? Not so fast. I don't understand. I thought you said you like her. What has that got to do with meeting her parents? I don't understand. We need to find out more about her family first. What are those? The lease agreement as well as a check for the White House insurance premiums. Awaiting your signatures. Okay. So how much is the insurance premium check? At 735,200 naira, sir. Okay. Okay, and Pastor Ojo is waiting to see you as well. Oh, please let him in. All right, sir. Oh. Good day, Pastor. Bro, Dele, how are you? I'm fine, we thank God. You're welcome, sir. Please have your seat. I won't take too much of your time. Just want to give you an update on uh, the fundraising for our mission to Kiteo. So, how has it gone? So, thank God, some have responded. We we'll have quite a number, giving us one excuse or the other, telling us they cannot be part of the project. But how much have we been able to raise? We raised 132,000. How much do we still need to meet our budget? We did exactly 735,200 naira. Really? Why did you have to cancel your insurance check? 
the Lord gave me two scriptures this morning. Isaiah 41.10 and Philippians 2.4. Isaiah 41, verse 10. verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. And Philippians 2, 4. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Hmm. Sir, so shall I offer you something to drink? Um, Shirley. Yes, sir. Um, let's discuss the insurance premium check again next week. All right, sir. The warehouse is burnt. Both of them and everything in them. Everything? Oh, Lou, wow! Tele, huh? I told you. Huh? Did I not tell you? You did as well. <sighs> Have you laid claims from the insurance company? Insurance? Mm. There is no insurance. You don't have insurance? Oh, Lou, wow! Ah, Dilly, this believing God method that you are using, I told you it is dangerous for business. Don't be stupid. If you had told me that you did not do paper insurance, I would have helped you to do Africa insurance. Africa insurance? Which one is that? Are you really sure it is the Lord that told you to buy those warehouses? I'm sure. I would advise that um, you check very well because these levels of attack, they are not normal. I have checked and I found nothing. Check very well. There must be a way or somewhere you have allowed the devil in. You know, he, it is only he that breaks the hedge that the serpent will bite. He burnt warehouses, your wife's sickness. These things are not just normal. Check very well. There might be somewhere you have a hidden sin. Lord, I know I heard you. Why have you allowed this to happen? Listen to what people are saying. Father, it hurts so much. But I have nowhere else to go and no one else to turn to. Naked I came from my mother's womb, Lord, and naked I shall return to you. Lord, you give and take away. Blessed be your name, Lord. I will still trust you. You cannot marry that girl. I beg your pardon. You cannot marry Fei. Why not? I thought you said you liked her. We do. So what's the problem? What is wrong with her? Nothing is wrong with her. There's something wrong with her family. Particularly the women in her family. I don't understand. What is wrong with the women in her family? They cannot have children. That is absurd. Is it? Her father has three sisters. None of them has children. Her elder sister has been married for five years. She has no children. That doesn't mean Fiyi and I cannot have children. It does. That girl is barren. 
None shall be barren in the land. Finny is not barren. She is. She is not. She is. Okay, then prove it. What do you mean prove it? Let her get pregnant. You want us to have sex before marriage? That is fornication. Call it whatever you want. She must get pregnant before you get married. That is the only way we will give her consent to your marriage. Ah. We can't do it. I know, I know we can't do it. So what do we do? I don't know what to do. It's just that my parents can be very stubborn. God can touch their hearts. True. We can pray that God will intervene in this matter. Yes, we need to pray. This obstacle must be removed in Jesus' name. Amen. It's so difficult waiting. I know. Free. I need you in my life. I need you too. I can see that the lines are falling onto you in pleasant places. Yes, sir. Thank God. <laughs> Now that marriage is settled, I suppose you begin to pursue your dream of running a Christian primary school for the less privileged. <laughs> Forget that one first, Nika. <sighs> Why? Now, I want to get married. I make money. But you know the Lord gave you this idea way back while we were still in school. Nika, that was then. This is now. <laughs> hey, Fei, are you the one talking like this? Yes, so. <laughs> Mala is helping me look for a job with a bank. An all company. I see. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so, when is the wedding? Pregnant? They shouldn't even think of that, though. What's Kola's view on the matter? Well, we're both in agreement that we should obey God and wait until after we're married. Praise God. I also pray that his parents will have a change of hearts. That's good. But Neka, I need to pray for us. You're under so much pressure. You know how it is now. Particularly when you waited for so long before getting into a relationship. You need to be strong. And hold on to God. I hope you two haven't started smooching yourself or anything like that. How about Neka? What kind of question is that? After all, we're not true. I know what I'm talking about. During courtship, you need to draw the lines and make sure you don't cross it. There should be no smooching at all. Though. Isn't that overdoing it? After all, we plan to marry. He who breaks the edge, the serpent will bite. If you waited for so long before Kola came along, you should be able to wait a few more months until you get married. Don't worry. You won't cross the line. Thank you. Yeah. If I have practice, please, I am sorry. In fact, I'm at my mother's place now. She's not feeling fine. Tony, my man, what's up? I'm okay, fine. Uh, no hard feelings about the other ah, day. Forget it. I'm okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Baby, I want to go check out the boutique. Okay, uh, see you later. So where is it now? What? Didn't you bring it? What? You know now. No, I didn't. Why now? You know I told you I needed it. I know, but... A deal is a deal. We had an agreement. Two cannot work together except they agree. Relax. Relax. I brought it. You did? Yes, I did. Oh, you're such a darling. <laughs> mm. You're cute. <sighs> mm. Don't take too long before you come back home. Why are you hurrying? After all, you will help me all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
guy. I thought you said she said she was a born again Christian and that she couldn't do it. Uh, yes, uh, but at the end she still did it. <laughs> Barman, uh, give us two stouts. But how did you manage to convince her? Money. When she saw the money I packaged for her, <laughs> she had to bow. <laughs> but wait, money doesn't normally shake true Christians. Who told you? Money answers all things. You just have to offer the right price. Hmm. I guess everybody has their price. I have told you, there is nothing in this Bible that they are carrying. It is just a front to cover up for their problems. You just have to offer the right price and give them a solution to their problems. They will drop the Bible. I'm not sure about that, Charles. I'm not sure. Uh, do you want me to prove no, it? No, no, no. I don't need you to prove it. No, I don't <laughs> Bible you Christians are carrying. How do you know that? Uh, have you read it? Look, I have read it from cover to cover. You have? Yes. If I want to argue with you, I will argue with you from a position of knowledge. And that is why I read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, so that I can marshal my points. Hmm. I see. Yes. And that was how I discovered the truth. Hmm. What truth? Yes, the truth that there are so many inconsistencies in the Bible. And many of the truths that the Bible doesn't tell you. And many of the hidden books wherein lies the source of power. True power. Hidden books? Yes, uh, the sixth and seventh books of Moses. Uh, what are those? Uh, they are the power books. But they are not just available to anybody. Really? Oh, yes. Uh, look. Tony, believe this Bible matter. There's nothing in it. Was it not written by uh, men like you and me? But wait, there are some Christians who are obviously living victorious lives. It's just a facade of Christianity they are just putting up. Uh. Uh. Oh, yes. If you check them out, you will find out that below that facade, there's something that they are relying on under. Uh, no, no, no. Come on, Charles. Uh, no, that can't be true. Do you want me to prove it to you? Are you going to call another madman? Uh, no. Ah, you promise? I promise. Okay, prove it. Okay, now, tell me of a true Bible-believing Christian that you know. Um, ah, Mr. Fredu is a very solid Christian. <laughs> <laughs> like you? Ah, no, not like me. Well, he is a real Bible-believing Christian. Look, before the end of today, I will prove to you that his Christianity is just a facade. Okay. should pray for me today. Why not? I believe God wants us to pray for lost souls. Okay. 
What is the name of that your friend again? Which one? The chief. Oh, Otumba Gunigi. That's the one. Let's pray for him. Okay, let us pray. Father, we thank you for the life of Otumba Gunigi. Have mercy upon his soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Save his soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Every confidence Otumba Gunigi has in strange gods. Let it be removed so that he may seek you in Jesus' name. Amen. Every form of African insurance Otumba Gunigi relies on, let them be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Evening, gentlemen. You didn't get back today, Mr. Uh, because there was nothing more to discuss. Really? Oh, yeah. Um, can we join you? Well, no offense, gentlemen. I'm actually not interested in discussing business right now. We don't want to discuss business. We want to discuss Bible. Oh, you do? Yes, we do. Okay, you can join me. Can I buy you a drink? I'll not put juice to the fine. Uh, uh, bar girl. Sir. Give us one apple juice and um, two bottles of stout. Okay, sir. Uh, you don't mind if we drink, do you? Well, I don't think it's good for you. Uh, but you're adults. You can make your own choices. Uh, there's nothing wrong in drinking now. Really? Yes, even Apostle Paul recommended a little wine to Timothy for his health condition. But do you have the same health condition as Timothy? Uh, that was not my point. What is your point? My point is the Bible teaches that taking alcohol is okay. It says, woe to them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow after strong drink, that continues until night, when the wine inflames them. Woe unto men that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to mingle strong drink. It is not for kings to drink wine, or for princes to drink strong drink. Where does it say that? Ah, read Isaiah 5, 11 and 22, and Proverbs 31, verse 4. So, where does the Bible teach that drinking alcohol is okay? Well, where the Bible says that Jesus turned water to wine. Yes, but did it say the wine was alcoholic? It must have been. Non-alcoholic wine was not invented in those days. It was. It was called the fruit of the vine, and nothing referred to as wine. Your drink, sir. One apple juice and two bottles of stout. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. you. Uh, Bagger. Sir. Return the stout and give me a malt. Okay, sir. Oh, what's the matter, Tony? Is it because of what he said? Not what he said, but what God says. Look, 
it is written here in black and white. Look, don't believe everything you read in the Bible. It is full of errors. There are no errors in the Bible. Blessing believes that there are so many errors in the Bible. Really? Yes, sir. It's full of errors and inconsistency. Tell me one. Okay. Adam and Eve were the first people God created. Isn't that correct? Yes. They were the first to be created in the recreated earth. And they gave birth to Cain and Abel, right? Yes. And Cain was banished from the land when he killed Abel, right? Yes. So who did Cain marry? According to the Bible, there was nobody else born. So who could he have married? To answer your question, you need to understand some things about the Bible. First, you must understand that the Bible is not a book of chronological events or unbroken series of divine utterances. It also does not necessarily mention all the names in a genealogy, except in certain cases where it deliberately tries to establish a lineage. Typically, if you only list men and not necessarily mention all the men. So what? Just tell me who Cain married. Read Genesis 5. And the days of Adam, after he had begot set, were 800 years, and he begat sons and daughters. Adam had so many sons and daughters, whose names and birth times are not recorded in the scripture. Obviously, Cain must have married one of them. I guess if he lived for 930 years, he must have had several children. Exactly. So maybe the Bible is not inconsistent after all. It is. On the one hand, it talks about going to heaven or hell when you die. And on the other hand, also, it says if you die, you return to the dust. Where did he say that? I'm not sure exactly. Somewhere in Genesis. Genesis 3.19. Hmm. In the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread. Till thou return unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken. For dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt, shalt thou return. That's the word. That's the scripture. If we are returning to the dust, it means we cannot go to heaven or hell. No, it doesn't. Why not? Because we are made in the image of God. So what? The God in whose image we are made is a three in one God. So also are we three in one beings. What do you mean? We are made of a spirit, a soul, and a body. I see. At death, the body returns back to the dust from which it is made, and our soul and spirit return to God from where it came, and then we are stored either in heaven or in hell. So death is really a separation of the spirit and soul from the body? Exactly. Listen, there is no controversy. The integrity of God's work is intact.
Let me tell you another error. Okay. Now, the genealogy of Adam to Jesus Christ is recorded in Matthew chapter 1, isn't it? Yes. The total number of years from Adam till present day 2015 is 6,216 years as recorded in the Bible. Isn't that so? Yes. Meanwhile, science has shown that the earth is over 6 million years. Yeah. There are forces to prove this. Everyone knows that once upon a time, there were dinosaurs upon the earth, and the number of lost cities which have been found have existed more than 6,000 years ago. Can you now see that the Bible is full of errors? No, there is no error. Oh, come on, Fred. If you agree that the earth is older than 6 million years, then surely the Bible must be in error. No, there is no error. Why? Because there is more than 6 million years between Genesis 1-1 and Genesis 1-2. What do you mean? Didn't God create the earth in Genesis 1-1? Yes, he did. Now, didn't God rest on the seventh day after creating man, animals, plants and so on? Yes, he did. And Adam was the first man he created? In the recreated world, yes. Then I rest my case. Look, you have no case. You are confusing me, Mr. Duro. Ah. Look, Tony. God created the heavens and the earth in Genesis 1-1, as recorded in the Bible. Yes. But this was not 6,000 years ago, but sometime in the dateless past, over 6 million years ago. How do you know that? Because the Bible says so. It was in that past that Lucifer rebelled with a third of the angels in heaven and were cast out of heaven and fell to earth. Are you sure that is in the Bible? Yes. Read Isaiah 14, 12 to 14, and Ezekiel 28, 11 to 17. God eventually destroyed the world that then was by submerging it in water and recreated it in Genesis 1-2, 6,216 years ago. So, there is no error? None at all. When science eventually determined the number of years that the Earth has existed, they will realize that it dates back to the dateless past in Genesis 1-1 when God created the earth. He's right, Charles. Listen to what it says here in Isaiah 14, 12 to 14. I'm not even interested in what it says. Because no prophecy of scripture ever came by man's interpretation or by the will of man. But holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. That's not enough proof. Well, maybe not. But the Bible itself is its own proof of divine inspiration. Uh, what do you mean? Look, what is the Bible after all? It is a collection of 66 books written by 40 different authors over a period of more than 2,000 years. Yet, every one of the book is in perfect alignment. Really? It contains 6,408 verses of prophecies, 3,268 of which have subsequently come to pass, and 3,140 verses which will still come to pass. Gentlemen, the Bible is a record of church history. 80% of which has already occurred, and 20% which is still unfolding, and continues to prove the Bible's divine inspiration. Look, it may be God's will, but it's not complete. What do you mean? He means it doesn't include the, the sixth and the seventh book of Moses. Yes, those are the hidden books <laughs> from God. You know, it is so ironic that the books inspired by men, you believe, came from God. And the book inspired by God, 
you believe came from men. And there is man of God. Those books are from the pit of hell. Really? They are not books inspired by God. And so right they have no place in the Bible. Baba, please help me. There is no remedy. Oh no. Please help me, Baba. The only one that can help you is the one who destroyed the calabash. <sighs> he is the only one that you need to beg. Where will I find him? I cannot tell you huh. where to find him. Maybe he will find you. <sighs> oh no, wow! One more thing. Huh? You cannot tell anyone about the broken calabash. Hmm. Or else, eh? or else what? Huh? Oh, no. Mama has come. Yeah, okay, okay. Don't worry, dear, don't worry. I will raise the money somehow, okay? All right, take care, take care. Later then, all right. Uh, Mr. Duru, my offer still stands. Don't you want to make some neat money? These things are normal in this country. Look, I am not interested. I understand, I understand. I will increase your share to six million naira. No, you don't understand. Even if you offer me the entire 60 million naira, I still will not take it. Why? Because there are still some men like me left in this country who believe the Bible and have the fear of the Lord in them. But don't you see that this is a blessing from God? The blessings of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow. This type of blessing you offer me comes with a lot of trouble and definitely cannot be from God. Mr. Duru, I still need you to consider this. Praise God. Praise God. Our sins have found us out. And you say praise God. Calm down, V. She's not that bad now. Not that bad. Didn't you say that you would not cross the line that night? Did you not cross the line? I didn't plan to. But then I couldn't help it. God, why? Why did you allow this to happen? Why? God understand why he allowed this to happen. All things work together for good. Like how? At least now, my parents won't have any excuse to delay our marriage. So what do we do? We we'll keep this quiet. We don't tell anybody at all, except my parents. That way, we we'll fast track the marriage. That way, we would have been married before the baby is born. After which, everything will be okay. Dolapo. Mama. I don't like the kind of life you and Fred are here. Every day you live from hand to mouth. I don't like it either, Mama. But then what can we do? It's not as if we're not trying our best to make ends meet. Hmm. The reason why your efforts and that of Fred is not yielding any result is because of the actions of our enemies in the village. Mama, no weapon of any enemy fashioned against us shall prosper. Ah! The weapon is already prospering. Can't you see that? God is faithful and he will meet us at the point of our needs. I'm sure he will not let us suffer. 
Mommy. Yes, dear. There's a man outside to see you. Who? He says his name is Charles Lemana Esquire. Oh. Ask him to come inside. Okay. Uh, good evening, madam. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Please have a seat. Thank you. Um, my name is Charles Festus Suleiman Esquire. I'm the chairman, chief executive officer of FSC Group of Companies. Okay, so what can I do for you, sir? I came to discuss a business proposition that could make your husband a very rich man. I see. For some reason, his eyes appear to be blinded to the immense potential for success of this business deal. I said it. I said it. That our enemies in the village have blinded his eyes to every good opportunity. What's this deal about, sir? Oh, it's a six million naira eh? deal. Six million? Six million naira? What is the matter? I just had a bad dream. God is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul. Like so, six million. Unfortunately, he has refused to collect the money. It's a lie. He will collect it. He must collect it. Are you saying the properties don't have any defects? None at all. I had two top flight independent structural engineers assess the building structurally. They confirmed that there was nothing wrong with the structure. Really? Honestly. I, in fact, I have the report here. I would normally not have bothered about the matter. Uh, but you see, something keeps pushing me to come back and see your husband. It's as if God is insisting that I persist in the matter until he agrees. Because left to me, I would have long forgotten about the matter. It's true, my son. It is God that sent you. Well, mm. I have done all what I can. Uh, maybe you can talk to him and convince him. Sir, I will surely talk to him mm. when he comes back this evening. Eh? Thank you so much, sir. Thank well, so much. I, I'll be going now. Okay, sir. Uh, was that your daughter I saw outside? Oh, yes. The fair, our last one. Oh, I guessed as much. Mm. Uh, she looks just like her father. <laughs> really? Tifa? Yes. Tifa? Tifa? Yes, mommy. Come here. Oh, uh, this is for you. Thank you, sir. Ah, thank you so much, thank sir. You. Uh, don't God bless mention, you. Don't mention. Is it because of this small change that you are thanking me? Ah, <laughs> thank you so much, sir. Okay. God bless you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Naira. <laughs> Did I not tell you that God will always provide? I told you that he will meet us at the point of our needs, didn't I? Thank ah. God. Thank you, Jesus. But do you also see that what I was saying was true? That the enemy have blinded his eyes again to be sure he misses this golden opportunity. Ah, they will not succeed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hmm. Hope you're enjoying the meal, dear. Okay. Um, 
Charles Suleiman Esquire was here this evening to clarify some issues concerning the deal you guys have been discussing. Charles Suleiman? Yes, dear. He even brought some engineer's reports showing that uh, the properties that you're talking about, they're all structurally sound. I see. Mm. Well, since uh, the buildings are safe, I think there's no need to defer on the valuation. You know? You should just agree on the valuation and accept the professional fees. It's up there. Look, I don't want that man coming to this house. Okay? But he's only trying to help. He even gave Tifa 50,000 naira. That man is a fraudster. We need to return that money to him. Oh, I'm afraid that is impossible. Why not? <laughs> because I already spent the money on food stuff. Besides, where do you think I got the money to prepare this meal that you are eating? I'll look for a way to raise the money and return it to him. Uh -uh, dear. Uh, why don't you just consider this offer? Hmm? I will not! It is fraudulent! And I will not be party to it! That man keeps walking about like a raring lion, seeking for whom he may devour. You see? I told you. Didn't I tell you that the enemies in the village have blinded his eyes so that he will not see his time of visitation? And since you are too weak to talk to him, I will talk to him. I am his mother. I am going to face him. I will talk. This man really be a Christian. How are you feeling? I feel like it's running up. Have you been to see the doctor yet? Yes. What did the doctor say? The doctor said it's something I ate. I see. I need some water, please. Oh, I'll get it. Thank you. So you're pregnant? I beg your pardon. You heard me. You're pregnant, haven't you? Pregnant? How, how can I be pregnant? I don't know. You tell me. I can't be pregnant. I'm, I'm, I'm still a virgin. Please, Faye. The sin of fornication is bad enough. Don't add lying to it. You're a believer for Christ's sake. How did you know? It wasn't too difficult to figure out. When mom and dad agreed to see your parents, I knew something must have happened. And now, this. Nausea and vomiting. You know you are pregnant, don't you? Yes. How many weeks? Six weeks. Have you told your pastor? Of course not. How long do you plan on keeping this a secret? Just until after the wedding. You want him to marry you at the altar, even though you are pregnant? If we tell him, he'll refuse to wed us. That should be the least of your concerns. You've asked God to forgive us. Because you've asked God to forgive you doesn't mean that you can hide your sin. For the sake of your souls and the future of your marriage, you must confess to him. Oh, that's hard. Faye, you're like a sister to me. You cannot start your marriage on this faulty foundation. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever you sow, 
you shall reap. But the scandal, the shame. You should have thought of that before getting pregnant. I can't tell Pastor. If you don't tell the pastor, then I will tell him. You will? Yes, I will. I cannot watch my brother and my sister go to hell, even if they want to. God, what kind of trouble is this? Are you going to tell the pastor, or do you want me to tell him? Dear, hmm? let's go inside and sleep. I'm going to sleep. A dream is that? Hmm? Did you see a calabash in your dream? Why are you asking? Because I hear you shout the calabash. Oh. No, I didn't see any calabash. Is somebody pursuing you? Uh, mm, nobody's pursuing me. Because you are doing as if somebody is pursuing you. Uh, nobody's pursuing me. So what is the matter? Uh, 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 dear? Uh -huh. Olu wow. Olu wow, we need you to come and intervene in this matter. Oh. <coughs> that is it. What? Do you have a Bible? For what? Give me a Bible. They gave me one at the party, but I don't know where I put it. Oh. Okay. Go and look for it. Go and look for it. Go and look for it. Ah, I have a serious problem. I'm in deep trouble. Oh, what is the problem? Remember I told you there were one or two things I had to sort out before serving God? Yes, I remember. One of them was the African insurance I did to enable me to get contracts. African insurance? Oh, oh the calabash. The calabash. Ah. What calabash? The calabash containing the African insurance broke two weeks ago. I ran to the insurer in the village to help him remedy the situation yeah. and do insurance. He said there is no remedy. I see. Well, ever since then, you know, any time I sleep, I see all one of my spirits pursuing me in the dream. They want to kill me. Even this morning, I saw myself in the coffin. Uh, they want to kill me, they help me. Where is the calabash now? Ah! A man gets burnt and you are still asking about his the beard. I was just wondering. The broken pieces are at home. I see. Then, please, I know that you are a true Christian. Hmm? Please help me. Whatever I need to do, I am ready. Whatever the cost. The mercy and grace of God are free. Just as it is written in his word, the Bible. I have tried the Bible already, but it did not work. What do you mean it didn't work? Did that place I touch? Then he threw down the pieces of silver and went and hung himself. Oh no! Wow. Oh. Give me, give me, give me. In that place I touch. If then I, the Lord your God, have done this. Go and do likewise. Oh, no, wow. Oh, well, we need you to come and intervene in this matter. Oh, ah. oh no, wow. I can't believe that uh, God wants me to kill myself. God doesn't want you to kill yourself. He doesn't. No. It is the thief who has come to kill, steal, and destroy. 
that wants to exploit your ignorance to kill you. Really? People perish for lack of knowledge. The Bible is not an amulet, charm, a fetish or anything that can work wonders. By its very presence. I see. God is love, but you must come to him on his own terms or not at all. What are his terms? You must repent of your sins and turn away from following your own will to following the will of God. I am ready to do so. There is no name given among men by which you can be saved other than the name of Jesus. Jesus? It is for this reason that the Son of Man was made manifest to destroy the work of the devil. Hmm. I am ready to receive him now. Chief, hmm? this is not a decision to be taken like that. God expects a decision not from the lips, but from the heart. But Dele, you know me that when I make up my mind to be with him, I will do it. I am ready, please. I am ready to accept him. I will okay. follow him. Hmm? Okay, then let us pray. Let us pray. Begin by telling God you come to him in Jesus' name. Tell him you are sorry for all your sins. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to come into your life now. Now, tell him you renounce all the agreement with Satan in Jesus' name. Invite Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Thank him for doing so. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, thank you for Otumba Bunigi who has given his life to you today. Help him to stand in Jesus' name. Satan, Otumba Bunigi is no longer yours. Satan! I command you to lose him in the name of Jesus. Otumba Bunigi is no longer yours. I break every hold you have on him and command you to remove your hand and hold on him in Jesus' name. Amen. I break your right and hold over him and command that you lose your hold on him in the name of Jesus. I cancel every covenant he has made with you with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I feel so light and happy. <laughs> All things have passed away. All things have become new. Thank you. Thank God. But now you must grow as a Christian. You need to get a complete Bible and begin to study it regularly. I will. Also, you need to start fellowshipping with other Christians. Start praying regularly and begin to tell others about Christ. I will tell you this. That's it. Go and show forth the works that confirm your new life. Hello, Pastor. This is serious. Are you sure? Yes, Pastor. Jesus is Lord. Is it confirmed? Yes, Pastor. Okay. I'll handle it. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Is your father here? Eh? Yes, he's in, sir. Tell him I'd like to see him. Mr. 
Thank you. Let's go inside. Please oh, yes, please. Not yet. This concerns you. Sit down. Me, sir. Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon. I wasn't expecting you today. I hope there's no problem. I didn't plan to come also. But I got a disturbing call. Call? What call? I hope there's no problem, Pastor. May God's grace it is well. Amen. Um, let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we bless you because you are a God that calls all things to work for our good. Even when sometimes we don't understand it, your word says, your grace is sufficient for us. Cause your word to be fulfilled in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. I ask Holy Spirit, great comforter, Come and guide us in all that we are going to say and do today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor, is there a problem? By God's grace, it is well. Amen. There are some certain things that happen in life that you can't explain. I got a disturbing call. Where God's grace, it is well. Amen. Amen. There was an accident. Accident? Not an accident. Thank you, Jesus. Did someone die? Hmm. Brocola. No. 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 No, no, sorry, we're sorry, we're sorry, God. No, no, Kola. Ah. Ah. What happened to me now? Take it easy. Ah. What happened to the baby? What happened to the baby? No. What baby? What no. baby? What baby? No. <laughs> this is not the time to get angry. God knows best. The first few days after hearing such news are critical. But why are all these troubles and affliction befalling our family? Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us from them all. God has not delivered us. We are surrounded by suffering and affliction on every side. Suffering makes us perfect. It strengthens, settles, and establishes us. Sometimes God will take away everything that gives us comfort. So that in our suffering, we can even trust Him the more. This suffering is too much. It's just too much. <gasps> I have not recovered from the losses of the two burnt warehouses. I am in debt. 
I cannot even pay the salaries of my staff. Eh? Just look at you. You are very ill. Kenny has no children, five years in marriage, and now Fee is pregnant for a dead man. Her back. This is just too much. Too much for us to bear. No temptation assists us except that which is common to man. God is faithful. He will not allow us to be tempted beyond that which we can bear. It is because he knows that we can bear it that he allows us to go through it. God is not wicked. My love, all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. His thoughts are not our thoughts, and his ways not our ways. How does one keep trusting on the God whose word has failed in the thick of the storms of life? God's words only appears to fail. It will never fail to accomplish its purpose. Why can't you just explain or give us a reason so that we can understand the purpose of all these troubles? God owes us no explanation. And, and if he did, would you understand? We need to just trust him and not lean on our own understanding. I see. Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I would like the greater one in me too. Really? God's word is a life in you. I want to be like you and also want to be born of God. Praise God. Then let us pray. Begin to ask God to forgive you. All the things you have done, ask Lord. Invite Jesus into your life. Ask Him to come and take control of everything. Go and sort it out. What do you mean by go and sort it out? Why are you asking me that? You're not a child. You know what I mean. What's this for? Ecclesiastes 10.19 What's in Ecclesiastes 10.19? Why are you asking me? Are you not the Christian here? For laughter. Wine make it merry, but money answered all things. The money should cover the cost. Go and sort it out. Is that all you care about? Don't you care about me anymore? Uh, not really. In fact, I don't want to see you here again. Why? Matthew 5:30. hand of Fendi, cut it off, and cast it from thee, 
for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. I am cutting you off. You are causing me to sin, and I don't want to go to hell. But don't you love me anymore? I do. That is why I am cutting you off. Or do you want us to continue in the scene of adultery and fornication? Call this guy. He can help you sort it out. Don't ever come here or call me again. Whether you like it or not, it will really look like you. His neck has stopped it. I don't like it. Oh, I was only teasing you, you know. I'm trying to cheer you up. Sorry. So how are you? The usual, I'm here feeling sorry for myself. I feel that God has just forsaken me. You don't have to feel sorry for yourself. It doesn't help matters at all. I guess not. It's just that it still hurts so much. Ah, and I've not come to terms with the fact that I'm going to be a single parent. Oh. Can a mother forget the suckling child? Hmm? Our God can neither forget nor forsake you. I guess so. Yeah. At times I just sit here for hours. Just thinking about my future. I wonder if I will ever get married. Yeah. The approach of being single and being seven months pregnant is really unbearable. People look at me as if I had sleepers. Yeah. My sister, my case is a true life story of how a young woman can take her own life in her hands and just ruin it. God is still faithful. <laughs> he is. He is. I realize now that God just wanted me to stop. To just stop. I mean, focus my sights on his call for my life. You know? I've decided to take up a teaching job. Preparation of fulfilling God's call upon my life. To set up a mission school for the less privileged. Oh, praise God. I know that God will see you through, even as you're obedient to his call. You'll be surprised at how God will turn things around and possibly bring a husband sooner than you think. Amen. Amen. So, how is your dad? He's okay, I guess. He has never really been the same since my mom died. Oh, yeah. He must be missing her. Ah, he's okay. And the fire at the warehouse has also taken his tone on his business and even his faith and has put him under so much pressure. Ah, yeah. What is it? My tummy. What is it? Yeah. What? Ah, ah, ah. What is it? Yes, my tummy. Ah, what? Baby, what, what, what? baby, take me to the hospital. Ah, what? Take me to the hospital. Ah, ah. <laughs>
What is the problem? It won't move. Maybe it's the transmission or something. Um, where are you going? I was actually on my way to the mainland for a meeting. Can we give you a ride? But I can't just leave the car here. It's okay. I'll call a tow truck. No, that would be expensive. Uh, maybe I should look for a mechanic somewhere or something. Never mind. I'll pay for the tow truck. Okay. Thank you. You see, Mr. Duru, if you had taken my offer, you would have bought yourself a new car. If I had taken up your offer, I would have sold my soul to the devil. Says who? Says the word of God. You know, Mr. Duru, I admire your tenacity to the word of God. It's a pity it doesn't work the way the Bible says it does. The word of God is living and active. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. There is power in the word of God. Really? Oh yes. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, correction, and instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That is my point. What is your point? If the word is true, then where is the power? I mean, where is the power to do all the good works and the miracles that the Bible is talking about. Why couldn't I cast out the demons from a madman? Why do people who profess to have the word of the Lord on the inside fall so cheaply to an offer of money or for self gratification? Yes. Why? Uh, it's simply because they've not been baptized with fire. How convenient. Uh, but it's true. The people that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Do you want me to prove to you that it doesn't work? Prove it. Have you been baptized with fire? Of course. And you know your God? Yes. Uh, driver, uh, let's turn by that junction. Man is dangerous. Buddy! Buddy, Adam! Ah! Mr. Hey, hey, wait there! Mr. Duro! You, Mr. Duro! We know you! We can see your fire! We don't want your trouble! Just allow us to deal with that bloody unbeliever and that baby Christian, and we will go our way. No! You must go now! And you must leave this man that you have captured alone. No way! We have captured him lawfully. He is our lawful captain. Even the lawful captain shall be delivered, and the prey of the terrible shall be taken away. What is your name? We are legions, and there are many of us here. Legion, I command you to leave him now and let him go in the name of Jesus. Oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains may slow down at thy presence. As Matthew fire bullets, the fire causes the water to boil, to make thy name known to thine adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. But it is written, who shall ever break the edge, the serpent will break yes, the edge. Yes, but it is the and the serpent will Yes, but it is the Son of God set him free. He is free in thee. For there is not a word like a fire and like a hammer that breaks the rock into pieces. I will just, I command you to lose him now in the name of Jesus. Lose him, lose him. The word of thy spirit, your spirit and your life. Let him go in the name of Jesus. What thou art under forty and the area, we will say you need to shed it down the city. Be. Do not understand here. Are they gone? Yes. They are gone. And he is free. Did you see that task? That is power. Raw power. Yes. <laughs> Raw power. That is awesome, Mr. Duro. Oh, you can do the same thing too. I can? Yes. How? By receiving the baptism of God's fire. 
when the fire of god comes upon you it will cause the living water within you to boil and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water really? yes people perish for lack of knowledge all that you need is in god's word therefore you must study to show yourself approved unto god a workman that needs not to be ashamed correctly dividing the words of truth i have read the bible from cover to cover yet it has not made any difference in my life it is not of the letter but the spirit for the letter killer but the spirit gives life what do you mean you approach the world with unbelief and a hardened heart you have eyes but do not see ears but do not hear and a memory that chooses to forget its teachings I guess I read it with the wrong attitude. Let the word of God dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Its doctrines are holy. Its precepts binding. Its histories are true. And its decisions immutable. It contains light to direct, spiritual food to sustain, and comfort to cheer. Read it to be wise. Believe it to be safe. And practice it to be holy. Read it that it might fill your memory. Rule your heart and guide your feet in righteousness and holiness. Read it slowly, frequently, prayerfully, meditatively, searchingly, devotionally, and study it constantly, perseveringly, and industriously, through and through, until it becomes a part of your being, generating the faith that can move mountains. You are right, Fred. Look what it says here. Whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he be not a forgetful hearer, but doer of the word. This man shall be blessed indeed. Exactly. So, gentlemen, what do you think? I command you to lose him now in the name of Jesus. Lose him! Lose him! The word that I speak, their spirit and their life. Let him go in the name of Jesus. There are no errors. Truth in the Bible is the word of God. Hello? Uh -huh. When are you sending me the package? You will get it tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Chop shooter! Don't talk serious. Thank you. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. It's okay, doctor. Franca. Sister Cynthia. What are you doing here? I thought you worked at the general hospital. I've been working here since last week. And I shared the testimony of how I got this job in church on Sunday. I see. I've been away for a while. We have really missed you in the choir.
are you the Francesca Williams? Yes. Ah, Franca. How did this happen? <sighs> the doctor that I went to to help me for the abortion was the one that made the mistake. Mistake? Mistake? Did the pregnancy get there by mistake? No. But I've been in so much pain since the abortion. That's why I now decided to come here for a checkup. Franca. Your womb is badly damaged. Ah, you may never be able to have children again. Go on! This is too much! Please forgive me. <laughs> Daddy, would you like anything to eat? No, thanks. I'll be inside. What does it look like I'm doing? But why? I've had enough. God has failed me. He hasn't. He has. I trusted him. I did everything to please him. What has he given me in return? Trouble. Nothing but trouble. But D. My business has practically collapsed because of those stupid warehouses he asked me to buy. He has failed. That does not mean that God has failed. He makes all things beautiful in his time. I hear you. It is true. For instance, it was because of your obvious faith and conviction in God at the time the realities got burnt that made me to turn to God and give my life to Jesus during my own crisis too. I'm sorry I misled you. Dele, do you know that God knows what he's doing? Those realities could still make you extremely wealthy. How? That was the good news I was coming with. The government wants to acquire the land on which those uh, warehouses were built to build a modern market. And they are ready to pay and some compensation to the owners of the land. Can you see that God is still good? He killed my wife. And he made sure she went through hell first. Yes. But then she taught so many lives while she was in the hospital. She died. But many people are not living because of this. Stop making excuses for God. Please give me the gun. No. My daughter has no children. Now I am the laughing stock amongst my peers. Dele. God has failed me. Dele, can't you see that God is in control? What control? What control? If he's in control, then let him give me a sign. Please, give me the gun. I said I need a sign. Dele. Please. I said I need a sign. What's going on here? Daddy, what's the matter? Hey, tell your father to put the gun down. Daddy! Daddy, Daddy, please. Daddy, please put the gun down. I said I need a sign! Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Put the gun down. Daddy, please. Give Daddy. the gun.
day, everybody. How are you? We are fine, sir. Good day. Yes. What's happening here? Is everything okay? Uh, yes. Yeah, everything, everything is fine. Yes. Uh, I'll be daddy. Everything is fine. Good. Because we have good news to share. Really? Yes. Ah. Ah, we need good news. Please, everybody, come inside. Let, let's sit down, please. Let's just sit down. So, tell us, what's the good news? We are going to have twins. Ah. What? <laughs> I'm pregnant and yeah. we're having twins. Ah, praise God! <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> yes, sir. It's a miracle. You know, we actually thought there was a curse on the women of this family that we could never have children. Mm. Yes, but then, Fei, when you got pregnant and lost the baby, our faith was challenged that there was no cause, and that if it was, it had been broken. Mm. You mean God used my own problems to bless you? Yes, he did. Wow. Thank you for my sign, Father. Great is your faithfulness. Your ways are past finding out. Dear Mr. Duro, I thought I should let you know that I gave my life to Christ last week. Your life has been a major influence in bringing me to accepting the reality of the possibility of a new life in Christ. I have taken the liberty of recommending your firm to several companies and high net worth individuals who will need the services of a man of integrity like you. I am sure they will be contacting you soon. I sold my property for 60 million naira last week to a company that was interested in the land and will be demolishing the buildings. I believe the Lord wants me to sow a seed into your life. I have enclosed a check of 6 million naira. Thank you for standing firmly on the truth of God's word. There is no controversy. There are no errors in the Bible. It is truly the word of God. 